it has been four years since this gentleman stopped by in studio um, and provided us to date the most watched video in the history of the Rich Eisen Show on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Rich Eisen Show. Uh, he is the star and host of Adult Swim's The Eric Andre Show. Eric Andre. How are you, Eric? Hey, how you doing? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Beautiful. Yes, I can. <laughs> Loud and clear. So, um, I, loud and clear. So and you, my, my hair is back. I'm sorry. You, I, I, I filmed most of the show last year. Okay. So, so last year you did like the Vin Diesel sort of look. It kind of, did you get I that? Did the Vin Diesel. Yeah. I, 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 I got rid of all of my body hair except my eyebrows. So I picked my head bald. I shaved my facial hair, but I also did my armpits. I nared my legs and I waxed my pubic hair. Okay. So nearing your legs. Uh, uh, by the way, I don't. I don't know if I've ever heard that used as a verb, nearing your legs. But I know what that is. Um, so yeah. why, why did you do it's, this, it's Eric? A harsh chemical that probably will uh, give me cancer later in life. That makes your hair fall out. Um, I did it for a creative experiment. Basically, the previous season of my show, season four, I um, I wanted to look. I, I wanted to look like a. a, a a uh, prisoner in a North Korean uh, detention center. So I uh, I lost weight. I, I didn't go out in the sun. I got really as pale as I possibly could. Uh, I, I gr got, grew my fingernails out and got them all dirty. I didn't wash or brush my hair. I didn't use deodorant, so I stunk. Uh, I didn't wash my suit once. And so this season, as an experiment, I wanted to do all the opposite choices okay. that I made the previous season. So I gained weight. I got rid of all my hair. I put on a ton of cheap brute cologne and Michael Jordan cologne that we found from the 90s. Uh, I uh, got tan. I did, I did spray tan, tanning bed, uh, outdoor tan. I got as brown as I possibly could. And uh, I, looked, I ended up looking like um, uh, uh, Vin Diesel had sex with Cory Booker. <laughs> so what's the feedback from it? What's been the feedback? Wait, first of all, I, I have the highest rated interview. Is that true? Uh, that Eric, watch? Eric Andre, you appeared last on this show um, in 2016. I think it was September, right, Chris? September 2016. Um, and uh, yeah, September 2nd. You showed up. You showed up September 2nd, 2016, wearing a T-shirt that um, was a perfect replica of the uh, tattoos of uh, J.R. Smith. Um, and yeah. oh uh, yeah, I and, still got that shirt. Yep. That, do you still have that shirt? I still have it. Yeah, I actually have two copies for some reason. <laughs> okay, that's good. Yeah, it's uh, J.R. Smith's flesh. It's a very weird, yeah. very weird shirt. But it was, it was, it looked great on you. Um, and you appeared I here. Have, I have a, I have a, Ron, I have a bootleg Ronnie Cycli jersey <laughs> that I was gonna. That I was debating between the J.R. Smith flesh shirt and the and the knockoff Little League Ronnie Cycli jersey. I, I have not that heard that name yeah. in so long. Is Ronnie Cycli still playing for Syracuse? I think he's in like his <laughs> nice. 25th year of eligibility. I think so. I mean, he's incredible. He's oh. my, him and Harold Miner are kind of like my, my icons. Baby Jordan. Baby Jordan. Baby Jordan. So, yes, you appeared yeah, on this show Florida then. Game. And what is the current total, uh, Chris, of that YouTube video right now? It is now? going to go over 2.5 million very soon. Wow. Beautiful. You're a popular guy, Eric. People seek you Beautiful. out. Beautiful. What can I say? Well, I mean, this is because you give them what they want, which is a uh, North Korean prisoner one year and then uh, Vin Diesel the next. <laughs> I mean, you've got you got your finger firmly on the pulse. Correct. you got your finger firmly on the pulse of what your fan base wants. So wh what has the feedback been right. of your current look? What's it been? Um, uh, you know, it took a toll on my love life. Uh, <laughs> you know, that's... Uh, I, I did not look uh, attractive. I kind of looked like uh, Kojak Drowned. That's kind of my. <laughs> Which, by the way, that's a great fantasy team name. That's a great NFL fantasy team name. Kojak Drowning would be. And then let's get let's get a shot of Eric Andre and use it as our avatar. We might have to change our team name. Like if they, like if they found Telly Savalas' body at like the bottom of a pool, like that's kind of like. What? <laughs> what, 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 I, I can't imagine how that would affect your... I need hair to distract from <laughs> my God. what's going on in my face. Eric Andre, Adult Swim, the Eric Andre Show. Uh, again, uh, back here on the Rich Eisen Show. Airs Sunday at midnight on Adult Swim in Season 5. Premiered just uh, a couple of Sundays ago. So um, you said Jordan Cologne. I forgot. Did Jordan really have Cologne or you just made that up? 
Jordan, no, Michael Jordan did have a cologne. Uh, it was very short lived, and it it, I, it kind of smelled like his sweat. So there wasn't like a certain Dracar Noir smell to it. It really was like a. It's, um, like, yeah, I'll be honest with you, I don't really remember, and uh, <laughs> but I I not only. Uh, Put it all over my body. I drank a little bit of it. Just very to good. Closer to Jordan. That, that yeah. all works out. That all works out for you. Yeah. I forget. Did yeah. are you a fan of any NBA team? Any team at all, Eric? Do you... Miami Heat? Obviously, I'm dropping clues like a maniac. <laughs> I'm a diehard Heat fan. What you th- Florida? What'd you think of their run? They had a good run. They had a good run. You got to give it to them, man. Like who who would have thought they would have gotten so far? You know. I think they'll do. Even better next year. Well, Eric, I got to tell you, uh, on our show, uh, in the interim, since the last time you've been on and then this time, we have we have noticed that if anybody makes a statement that they kind of believe but don't really believe, they they go higher register. And you just went higher register about the Miami Heat. <laughs> I'm superstitious, so I don't like like bragging and boasting about anything until – um, something's happening. Okay. Well, I mean, that's something definitely much happened. Like, much like the much like the election, I'm like doing a rain dance over. You should see me. I'm like sweating and uh, doing a rain. I, I slept like one hour last night. I'm just <laughs> hitting my refresh button on my web browser. Are you doom? Over over are you doom scrolling on your Twitter feed right now, Eric? Is that what you're doing? I'm doom scrolling. I'm prophesizing. I got voodoo dolls all laid out. I'm sweating up a storm. Oh. I look like hell. Um, let's talk a little bit more about your show, and then I'll send you back to your your doom scrolling uh, Wednesday right mm-hmm. here. Um, you had uh, along for the ride guest stars this year, um, Robin Givens. How about yeah. wh- where did you wh- when did you come across Robin? That's pretty cool. Still, still beautiful, still as beautiful as she was twenty five years ago. Uh, I don't know. I think her. I might have this wrong, but I think her son suckered her into doing the show. Okay, and she was not. She was she was um, out of sorts. I would say during the interview, we had like maggots popping out of food and cockroaches yeah. coming down from the ceiling. And uh, I brought up Mike Tyson, which she did not appreciate, <laughs> and uh, it got tense. It was tense. Yeah. There's an awkward pause in your interview with Robin Givens. Is that what you're saying? Oh, Cause... several, several. I'd say several. Did you? I mean, how do you handle a situation like that? Do you enjoy the awkwardness? Do you 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 relish? Yo, in it? Yeah, I'm, I'm mining for awkwardness. <laughs> I am a truffle pig, <laughs> sniffing the soil, <laughs> mining for awkwardness. <laughs> I guess I'm kind of the opposite. I, 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 I'm, 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 I try to avoid those moments in interviews. Quite honestly. Yes. Well, you, you are a classy, competent interviewer. <laughs> I am trying. I am. I, I set my career out trying to be the worst interviewer of all time, uh, and hopefully, I'm, I'm succeeding. What did you just say in my ear, Chris? Oh, what's the most awkward one that you've had over the years? Oh, uh, Lauren Conrad walked out during an interview. Lauren Conrad walked out. T.I., the rapper, walked out. Uh, Robin Givens wasn't pleased. We had Blake Griffin on this year. He was like, Blake Griffin goes, that was so nerve-wracking. He goes, I was more nervous during your interview than uh, during a playoff game. <laughs> Now, that's because, you know, he's got a reputation and he doesn't want to have something on, uh, you know, sitting out there forevermore. You know what I mean? I guess. But he's got yeah. a huge sense of humor, though. So I, you could pretty yeah. much go in any direction with him. Yeah. So, I mean, we were lighting him up. I mean, we he, we were hitting him. We were getting at him from all angles. I mean, we were torturing the guy. So T.I. walked uh, out. He was. T.I. walked out. Yeah, there was a lot of full frontal male nudity during his uh, <laughs> interview that he didn't really appreciate. You know, not his humor. Oh, which is fair. See, is fair. now again, Stern, but fair. that's part of the way I try to avoid awkwardness here on the Rich Eisen show is not to have that part of the interview process. You know? Yeah, yeah. I have a different tactic. <laughs> you do. That's the difference between me and you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Uh, who do you want in your show that you haven't had, Eric? Uh, I don't know. Come on. There's got to be we're somebody. Trying to get Bill Co- we were trying to get Bill Cosby on this season, but that was tense. <laughs> that, got this. <laughs> that was a non I guess um, you've you got to have to Zoom with him, I guess. Unless We actually, we um, actually see the one tried to interview Charles Manson. We were like, like 
coordinator, like reaching out and emailing the prison that he was at. He was still alive at the time. And, uh, yeah, we never get Charles Manson. So was it a logistical was problem for Cosby, or he just refused your your your, your uh, uh, we, did, we, we did not get a response. Did you, to the Cosby <laughs> Do you think he looked up your work? Do you think that could be it? <laughs> I, I, I think he think researched so. think it. Let me see totally what Eric Andre's that. about. Oh, wait a minute. There's full frontal I, male nudity and maggots. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he has access to research uh, material. <laughs> right now. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, dream guest. Uh, Come on. Well, Oprah would be nice. I mean, are we shooting for the stars here? Yes, Beyonce? of course. That's well, yeah. yeah, I'm not going to hold you to it. But, I mean, yeah. Oprah would be... Quite an, an an Oprah appearance on the Eric Andre show might break every possible record, I think, and the That's internet. That's right. That's right. Oh That's my right. gosh! Fantastic. 100%. All right, Eric. I appreciate the time. Let's not do it every, once every of four course. years, like the election. Okay, it's twenty sixteen <laughs> yeah. and twenty twenty. All right. Um, let's, <laughs> let's at least mid, let's Thank mid you for having me. let's midterm it at the very least. Okay, let's do it. Sounds good. All Sounds right. good. <laughs> you take care of yourself. That's Eric Andre. All right, y'all. Good. You got it. that's Eric Andre at Eric Andre on Twitter. We cannot mention his Instagram title on this show. As a matter of fact, that was a specific decision we made. <laughs> Wait, really? Well, it's his. Let's just put it this way: it's his first look name. Up his, look I, up I his, haven't. I, I don't look I don't up know. his Instagram All right, name. Stand by. Let's just say it's his first name and his last name, and then the middle is a word that is one that you cannot say on television. Say on television. Oh. So, think about it, and then you'll have it. Oh, and uh, let's see the photo from his previous appearance. There it is. <laughs> That is exactly the oh, body art yes, yes. of J.R. Smith. And you just looked up his Instagram. I just looked at his Instagram. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's a specific name. That it's he, funny. That uh, was available. It was. <laughs> he probably somebody wasn't squatting somewhere. on that. Yeah, yeah, nobody was squatting <laughs> on Maybe that. Maybe he went to GoDaddy and got it. <laughs> Maybe that's why he had to put that word in the middle, because someone already had Eric Andre. That's some people put an point. underscore. Yeah, right. Or some somebody people. Somebody put a dot. <laughs> I just had to hashtag somebody him on that, Instagram that, today. That, uh, that word. Let me see if that's available for you, Rich. You, you, want, you have never said, hey, when this guest is coming on, let's use maggots. Never once. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Never had a walk-off so either. So Robin Gibbons shows up no because her son yeah, said do it, and she didn't see it coming, huh? <laughs> she didn't see it coming. Rich, if you want a, um, a, a bat account, on uh, Instagram. Rich F. And Eisen is, is available. Is available. Who knew? <laughs> Wouldn't really be a bad account if it's still his name, though, right? Uh, hey, Commissioner, do you want to follow me on Instagram? <laughs> sure, Rich. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> hey, RG1. Um, I don't know if you're on Instagram. I know you're at NFL Commission on Twitter. You, uh, right. Would you mind following me on Instagram? Here's my address. At Rich F. And Eisen. Here's my ghost account. My ghost account. Yeah. <laughs> you know, people saying, you know, oh, hey, do you, ever, do you, ever, you ever hover about hit and send on on uh, on your tweets? And, of course, you know, there are times you have to – you always, always have to think twice, three times, four times before hitting that thumb on your send button. And one of the people I think about all the time is, what would Roger think? <laughs> about what you're tweeting? Yes. <laughs> of course. He's my boss. He's the boss. He's my boy, Blue. Can I say that? Blue, you're my boy.